In recent years, I have been reading books on racism. I was dismayed to learn that the church has promoted racism in this country for centuries. I learned about my white privilege and the need to become an anti-racist. We have all seen the effects of ongoing prejudice and white supremacy during the past few years. Hurtful rhetoric, hate crimes, and other acts of violence against black and brown people. In response to the Black Lives Matter movement, I began writing hymns that acknowledge this pain. In this text, I am lifting up the obvious truth that Jesus was not white. His brown skin was the common skin of the people of Palestine. It was not his skin color, but his teaching that drew people to him. In the Sermon on the Mount, as presented in Matthew's Gospel, Jesus spoke about God's love and care for all people and for all creation. His skin was brown, his hair was dark, and lovely were his words. He spoke to those who came to him of lilies and of birds. Consider how the lilies grow, they neither toil nor spin. Yet Solomon, with all his wealth, was not arrayed like them. His skin was brown, his hair was dark, and lovely were his words. He spoke to those who came to him of lilies and of birds. Consider to the little birds who sing but never sow. Our Maker still provides for them, and so they live and grow. His skin was brown, his hair was dark, and lovely were his words. He spoke to those who came to him of lilies and of birds. If you now seek the way of love, good things will come to you. The touch of grace, the hand of peace, God's help in all you do. His skin was brown, his hair was dark, and lovely were his words. He spoke to those who came 